Hey everyone and welcome back to yet another Borderlands 3 video. It's fair to say that a lot of people are on board of the hype train for Borderlands 3. The reveal trailer for the game at the time of recording has over 3.3 million views and was number one trending on YouTube, which is just absolutely insane. With that being said, a lot of people old or new to the franchise are eager to find out more information about the game, so today we'll be doing just that. I'll go over and discuss the new playable characters in Borderlands 3, we'll talk about their names, abilities and everything we know from leaks we've been hearing over the past few months. There has been a lot of leaks circulating Borderlands 3, but now we can finally confirm them thanks to this reveal trailer. But before we begin, I'd really appreciate it if you guys would leave a like on this video and if you're new, make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with the latest Borderlands 3 content. Let's begin with the first Vault Hunter, who appears to be a soldier slash gunner class. That Vault Hunter is called Mosey, the bot jock. We actually saw her for the first time during the Gearbox tech demo over two years ago, which I thought was quite interesting. Her main ability, as we have seen in the reveal trailer, is a spawnable mech, which I have to say looks very cool. That mech seems to be equipped with a chain gun and a rocket launcher of some sort. An interesting thing about this ability is that it's very co-op focused, as you can have one of your friends mount the mech with you. As you guys can see, on top of the mech, you have a gunner seat for one of your friends. So for example, if you're playing with just one friend, this is probably going to be the go-to class. You can pick up Mosey and somebody else, and you can basically go through the levels together, which is going to be pretty fun, actually. Now I do wonder if there will be any sort of weapon customization for the mech, where you can potentially spec him in different ways. Have it be more of a melee focus mech or a long range sniper type. I'd love to see that type of depth to the mech customization in Borderlands 3. Up next we've got the new Siren class, Amara. She's been heavily inspired by an Indian goddess as we've seen from the trailer. According to the leaks, she's going to be a melee focused character similar to Brick from Borderlands 1, and we can definitely see hints of that throughout the Borderlands 3 trailer. She will come with three action skills according to the leaks. One of them is Phase Lock, that can hold up to three enemies at once in the air. The Phase Lock ability I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with, as we've seen it before with Maya in Borderlands 2. Her next ability will showcase briefly in the reveal trailer and it's going to be a ground slam, probably going to deal a lot of AoE damage. Looks like with Amara you can really get some nice combos going with the different abilities like the face lock and ground slam combined. Maybe throw some grenades in the mix and you'll have a very heavy damage dealing vault hunter. Last ability according to the leaks is a projection of herself that can fire at enemies. Now this is very interesting and kind of surprising to me. As another Vault Hunter in Borderlands 3, Zane will come with some sort of a hologram ability too. We don't actually know that much about Zane, but all we know is that he'll be an assassin character similar to Zero from Borderlands 2. His ability is a hologram decoy, which will draw aggro. We'd also see from the trailer that he could have some sort of a high-tech drone following him too. He apparently comes from a wealthy background, so he might have purchased some high-end tech to help him on his adventures. Like I said, we have very little information regarding him, and the trailer didn't really reveal that much. We'll have to wait and see to find out more information regarding Zane in the future. Last but not least, we have a Hunter class, Flak, the Beastmaster. Now he is very cool in my opinion, I think one of my favorite Vault Hunters they have shown so far. The Hunter is going to be a pet class Vault Hunter, but they have taken the concept of pets to a whole new level. Flak will be able to choose from three different pets, a Skag, a Spider Ant, and I don't quite know what the last pet is. It looks very humanoid-like, as it appears to be standing upright, but I have never seen a creature like this in the game. Maybe if you guys know, you can let me know in the comments down below. At first I thought Flak will only have one pet, the Skag, but as the leaks suggest, he will indeed have three. Each of the pets will have their own unique abilities. Overall, I do like the design of Flak, a lot of variety for you as a player with the different pets you can choose from and customize. Cannot wait to hear more about this character as more information is released to the public because I think I'm definitely going to be mailing this guy. This is pretty much all the information I've managed to find regarding the new Vault Hunters from Borderlands 3. 
Obviously, I've talked about stuff that hasn't really been showcased in the new trailer, but seeing how there's old leaks that were pretty much confirmed with this trailer, we can assume that a lot of this information is correct. There are things that might still be subject to change, but it's looking very unlikely. But that is going to do it, guys, for this episode of Borderlands 3. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, like I said earlier, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're new to the channel for plenty more Borderlands 3. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're going to have a wonderful day, and I shall see you guys next time. Take care and goodbye. Bye-bye-bye-bye.